Oh no! Oh man! I chopped this one off. The big boy. I got prune happy. Oh, what a bummer. Alright, what's up everyone? It's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And today I'm talking a little bit about my Maha Chinook mango here. And uh, I'm going to show you a close up because it's got a lot of mangoes on it, but it is time to shade the tree. We are mid-April right now and this tree needs some shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really easy and simple way to build a shade structure that looks pretty good. So if you have a nice fruit tree in your front yard in an HOA, I think this might get by if you, if you do it nice and clean and it's a simple way to shade a single fruit tree with nothing else around it. Over there on my other shade structure, I actually built a bigger structure that housed a whole bunch of trees. But right now, I just need to shade this mango and uh, I want it to look kind of nice. So this is the process. Um, I went and got a whole bunch of these poles. These are the, uh, the electrical conduit lines from Home Depot. They're pretty cheap, a couple bucks each. And then I got a couple of these uh, concrete concrete reinforcements from Home Depot. They're, you know, pretty long. They have the two ends on the on the end that that are just there. So that's what we're going to use. And then sawzall and then a post hole pounder, some zip ties, and then you need some shade cloth. So I went to, shade cloth is pretty expensive if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's. And then Anthony, one of my fans, told me about Harbor Freight. So check it out. This is the first time I've used Harbor Freight shade cloths, but they're called tarps. This is a 10 by 10, and this is an eight by 16. So depending on how long I need is which tarp I'm gonna use. Uh, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but these were 30 bucks each. So uh, it's definitely the most expensive part, but shade cloth is important when you're planting a food forest in the beginning of it. So here we go. First, I'm gonna show you a little bit close up of the Maha Chinook and why it needs some shade. So here's the Mighty Maha. I'm calling her Mighty Maha because uh, she is putting on some massive mangoes here. And this one's doing so well right now. Now you can see some of these are turning a little bit yellow. So these are the ones that are turning yellow. I'm gonna be pulling these ones off and allowing it to focus on a few of these nice, nice big ones that are in here. So um, pretty excited about that. It's definitely putting off a ton of mangoes here, just everywhere. I've already plucked a whole bunch of these mangoes off because you know the, the trunk is, this was a 15 gallon tree trunk is a little over an inch thick and uh, you can let a couple mangoes hang when it's nice thick trunk like that so but it's really needing some shade so all these little yellow guys they're gonna be plucked off in fact I'll just do that right now um, kind of pull all of these little ones off maybe pluck this these yellow ones here so this flower is empty now this flower I just have one yellow one boom if you touch it and they fall off, then they're meant to fall off. Like this one, this big one, I'm just gonna touch that and it falls. This one doesn't fall. So if you touch it and they fall off, they weren't meant to be. So this one, you touch it and it doesn't fall off. This one, yeah, you just touch it a little bit then they fall off if they're yellow. But in these ones, they won't fall off when you touch them. So I just leave those ones on. I let it tell me which ones are ready to take off. Like down here, just hit it a couple times, boom, all those fall off. But these two don't. So I'll leave those on right here. Right here. 
that's pretty good for now down here a little bit a few of them so I'm gonna be pulling a few more of these mangoes off but I let them set I let them tell me which ones they want to hold so a lot of these more mangoes are gonna be coming off shortly but now it's time for the shade structure so here's all our materials for the shade structure and now I'm gonna show you the process of building it so stay tuned all right so it's a warm day out today I'm definitely gonna be sweating putting this up but it's good because if you stand out here and you're sweating so is the tree probably so once it gets a couple more years on it it'll take the Sun but for now this first year getting it established in this yard I definitely need to heavily chip it which I did and then also I need to put this shade structure up so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna be putting these four areas around this tree so I'm gonna put this kind of give it that's the west so I want to make sure it comes from the top and then comes over to the west so see how long that is that goes way too up way too high up I want to put it basically about a, at least a foot in the ground and I need it to be at least a foot or two over the tree so this actually might be a good height that's why these are nice because you can cut them down I may not need to cut these down so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on this ladder and I'm gonna pound these stakes in the ground and see what happens I kind of want to do a little bit of an angle kind of like angle a little bit so when you pull on the cloth it kind of kind of tightens it so yeah that's pretty good So that's the first step. First step is getting all four of these pounded into the ground around the tree, leaving enough space that the tree can grow through the summer. Then we take a piece of concrete reinforcement and we're going to bend these, these ends. We're going to bend it this way first, across, and then we're going to bend it up in the middle. We're gonna give ourselves like a little, see that? Kind of like, we'll lock it in the hole. We're gonna do that to both sides. Something like that. Um, we might need to zip tie this together or get them a little tighter with some pliers. But let's see how it works. So we're gonna go across diagonally in inside each hole. I'm gonna start on this corner. And then you just squeeze this and shove it in the pole. Everything's pretty lightweight, so that's good. Really shove it in there. <clears throat> nice. Now we bring this side, let it flop over. And then we do the same with this side. Now this actually is a little bit tall now when you see this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it right here at this bend. So I'm gonna go get some clippers real quick. I do the same with this side. I bend these way, this way, and then I bend forward. I got that one trimmed. I'm going to bend this up. I cut this one to the same length as the other bar, so I'm going to bend this the same way, over, over, and then up. So that's like that. And I'm going to do the same on this side over over and up just 
just like that. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab this and finish this other one. Same thing, I'm going to just stick it in this area, in the hole, stick both wires in there, shove it down in there, boom. And it's going to give it some more strength once you get all four of these in. I can put this one under. Boom! There it is. Now what I can do is I can take a zip tie and tie it right in the middle there so it keeps them all together. And now I look at it it's a little bit off-centered, so I'd like the west side to be a little bit more this way. So I'm just going to bend it just slightly on this side. Yeah, so now the west will be shaded from the sun. And we're going to go all the way up over top. I think we're going to want to use this 10-foot shade cloth because I want to go up 10 feet and I want to come across as wide as this is by like four or five feet and that's what I'm going to cut. All right, so here it is, 10 by 12. So I'm going to find the 10 foot side. This is the 10 foot side right here. It has nice little loops on it. Grab a couple zip I just want to get it pretty tight, as tight as you can. And the nice thing about the shake cloth is it just, the zip ties just go right straight through it, so you can put it anywhere you want. And just start securing it from one side, coming over and kind of tightening as you go. And we're going to do a final tighten by bending the poles. Okay, so there it is. Um, I really don't know if an HOA would be okay with this or not, but, uh, but it looks pretty clean. It's protected from the west, and this is the south side. Doesn't necessarily need protection, but it kind of just worked out. Instead of me cutting this uh, shade cloth, I just used the whole thing. So $30 shade cloth with four, probably $3 poles. That's 12 bucks, uh, some zip ties. I mean, and those, those concrete things, you're probably looking after the shade cloth per tree, like 50 bucks. But you know, I don't think that that's that much when you consider how much food this is gonna give me in a few years. So eventually these moringas are gonna grow up around this tree and provide its own shade. So that's gonna be exciting and I look forward to that. But right now, this will protect really nice for this summer. I'm gonna bend the poles a little bit to get it to actually like stretch out just a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it's getting some nice shade right now when it needs to. So 
how to shade a mango tree, how to shade any young fruit tree uh, for the summer of Arizona for the first three, four years. It actually worked pretty well. I didn't actually even have to use the, uh, the scissors. I didn't have to cut it. So I just kind of wrapped it around. I started from that side, the north side, and I wrapped it. This is all west, so this is gonna be perfect for the summer, plus the top. It's gonna get some, some top shade. And uh, as you can see, it's open over here. So this side, I'm leaving open um, because that's the east side, the east and the north side. So the sun's not even gonna hit this side. I may have to have this come out a little bit more because as you see, I want that top to shade the whole thing and it's kind of pulling it this way. So I'm gonna have to bend these poles a little bit that way just to, uh, just to get this to be in exact position. I might have to loosen up this top a little bit. So it might need a little bit of adjustment moving this top to make this a little wider up here. Um, you know, or I can even just come down with a little bit more shade cloth on this side. But these branches are going to start growing out. And it'd be, but they are getting all shade now, so that's really good. So, but the sun's about to come up more higher in the sky. So yeah, this is definitely going to need a little bit more shade on this side. So I'm going to adjust this shade cloth, but now you guys can kind of see it's a total, total different atmosphere right now in this shade cloth. So my mighty Maha is going to be happy. Next step is getting the automatic watering back here. I'm super sweaty, but this is just the beginning of summer too. <laughs> but that's okay. I like the heat. I can take it. There's the shade cloth. That's a simple shade structure for a single tree out in the middle of your field. You know, about 50 bucks you can make it happen. And if you get it like this when you start adjusting it and you see that the shade cloth is touching the plant, uh, a, a cool thing you can do is just take one of these posts too from Home Depot. These are five... I think five bucks each, they're kind of expensive, but they work really well. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna, first off, cut this zip tie off down here. All right, so you wanna take your post hole pounder, put it in on top of the post, then you have it in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right up in here where the tree is, and I'm gonna pull this post away from the tree. So I wrap around this post, something like that. So now, I'm gonna kinda angle this post so that it pulls on the, on the shade cloth and pound it. Now that's perfect. It's not touching the tree and I can zip tie it directly to this post. Okay, so there's a chance that uh, an HOA would approve something like this. There's also a chance that they wouldn't, but it is gonna give you and your tree a great first year uh, in the ground. So it takes it all the way to the bottom there and by the time the sun gets that low, it's gonna be shaded already by the tangelo tree. So there it is. You know, I think it's okay for my backyard. You guys could probably do it with a little more precision. Maybe using different materials that are a little stronger than these electrical poles to wrap things around, but you guys get the idea. Um, this is a nice little way to to give some shade to your early trees. So there it is. Now the last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually trim up all these flowers right now. Because a lot of these flowers aren't, aren't setting anything. So I'm just gonna come in here and uh, probably just take this, this off right here, right underneath that node, right above that node. Um, this one has a mango on it. I'm going to let it stay. 
This one, I could just uh, maybe cut these flower tips off for now. So no energy goes to these guys. Just leave that one hanging. Or those two hanging. Oh yeah. Uh, this one's still got some hanging. Trim it up a little bit. We come around to this side. This flower's all the way gone. So I can take this right underneath. See those two leaves right there? I'm gonna take it and leave only one. Cut it at an angle like this. Boom, just leave one leaf there. I don't want it to grow too many branches out of each one of these. Uh, right under here. Cut it right above this node here. I'll take this one off here. This one can come off back here. So, and then down here, we can take this one off as well. And there it is, looking pretty good so far. So, oh, good. looks like I, I could top this one as well up here. Kind of top it right here. Yeah, right below that, boom. Yeah, so it's looking pretty good. So now it's pruned up. We're gonna see which mangoes, all the mangoes that want to set on it are gonna set, but now it's got some nice shade moving into the summertime. Oh no, oh man, I chopped this one off, the big boy. I got prune happy. Oh, what a bummer. That's okay. I'll get a couple more set. I got a nice big one over there too. This was the big one that was coming in. Well, don't get prune happy. But I got this one too. So that's uh, that's good. And this one. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that thing coming in. How beautiful is that? wonder if I bite into it, if it'll taste, taste sweet at all, or if it'll be really bad. All right, there it is, my first Maha Chinook mango that I accidentally pruned off. Um, I could try to bite into it right now, but maybe I should just leave it on the counter and see if it ripens up a little bit. I mean, it's probably way too young to ripen, but I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it on the counter, see if I can get any taste of what this ta might taste like. Oh man, what a bummer, what a bummer. It was hidden by a leaf and I pruned it off. But anyways, I got a couple nice ones on there, so, and a nice good shade. So anyways, next year for sure, I'm gonna get some really good mangoes out of this tree. It's gonna have a, nice, a lot of nice growth this summer, and then next year, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of these, so. All right, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching my mistake. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up, share this video with the world, hit the little subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you know when I post next. I just wanna say thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. It really means the world to me that you guys support me. And if you guys do wanna support me, you can go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills. And Patreon's a place where you can support your favorite artists. Uh, and allow them to keep doing what they do. And what I do is plant trees. So I appreciate any support you guys want to give, but just watching the videos means the world to me. So thank you so much. And uh, until next time, develop awesome skills. I love you all. All right, so I, I just pulled this mango off and a little juice is dripping out of the bottom there. And I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, it smells so good. That juice off that mango, you can see how it was just sucking up the juice there. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that, but it smells just so good, so floral.
So that was a cool little thing. Mmm, <laughs> smells so good. <laughs> oh, what a bummer.